video we'll take a look at how to set up the RFS 2.2 and how to control the power levels of your RFS 2 enabled lights. Now RFS 2.2 is backwards compatible with RFS 2 on the Scoro, Senso, Ciros, and Move. To change the studio channel, you simply flip to the back interface here and you do a long press on the ST button. This is going to allow you to scroll to any one of 99 different channels. And what you're going to want to do is just go to the right studio channel that you have your other lights set up to. And then once you get there, I usually leave mine on Studio 1, you just hit ST again to set it. Now if at any time you find that your lamps aren't firing, just go ahead and toggle to another channel and see if that fixes the problem. To adjust all the lights in the studio, tap ST once and then scroll the wheel up and down. This can now take away power or add power to the strobes. Once you've adjusted it, here we're going to do a full stop of power. Just press the ST button again, and that'll go ahead and send that adjustment out to all the strobes in that studio. This will affect all the lights on that channel. If you want to go ahead and adjust the power on an individual lamp head, then tap LP on the back. Tap this repeatedly as you cycle through all the lamp heads. When the desired lamp head shows up, adjust the scroll wheel, just like we did earlier, and hit LP. And that'll send it just to that individual lamp head, so you have minute power adjustments with the LP button or through the ST button you can adjust the power in the whole group, keeping your lighting ratios the same. Now you can set a limit to how many lamp heads are available to the RFS 2.2. Simply do a long press on the LP button until the max lamps in studio appears and then simply use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down to your desired amount of lamps in that studio. Now you can go all the way up to 40 different lamps. If you only have two individual lamp heads in your studio, then you can just dial this down and set the max to two to avoid excessively tapping the LP button to select separate lamp heads when you want to adjust the power. So there we go. And now as I hit this, it cycles between lamp one and two for me, and I can adjust the power on each of those individually. So there you have it. There's the quick and easy way to go ahead and control the power on all the different lamps in your studio or to go to the individual lamp heads to adjust the power one at a time. So make sure you check out more videos in this series for more detailed information how to get the most out of your RFS 2.2 and how to use some of the advanced menus and functions and features.